Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to hike up Register Ridge to Mount Harwood and then Mount Baldy behind me there, because why not? Now Register Ridge here in Angeles National Forest is considered the uh, steepest trail up to Mount Baldy. It's probably the shortest one too, but it's definitely steep. If you've never done Mount Baldy before, definitely don't do this as your first time. Take the notch, it's a lot easier. But if you've done the notch and you've done Baldy Bowl Trail, this is actually right in the middle of those two uh, trails and it goes directly up the spine of Register Ridge, I think named after the trail register at the beginning, which would make uh, sense. But anyway, it's a tough climb, a bit of a suffer fest, about two miles straight uphill, and uh, I will show it to you in this video. Now, if you want to do the hike, as always, I have a full guide on hikingguide.com. Check the website out. I'll have some maps of a GPX track and uh, some things to make you feel confident about navigating the hike. And a uh, big, big thank you to everyone who supports the channel and the site. I could not do any of this without you, so thank you thank you thank you for uh everything that you guys do and uh if you like the video if you want to give me a thumbs up that helps too so thank you for that all right let's uh, hit the trail and you can see uh what the suffer fest is all about so we're starting at manker flat where you start uh most of the other baldy trails here baldy hikes and we're going to go up here past the san antonio falls trailhead and trail board Going to go through uh, the gate here, just like we would if we were hiking up on the Baldy Bowl uh, Ski Hut Trail or going up to the Notch. The very beginning is going to be uh, the same as those hikes. Now, when you're going up the paved part, if you look in front of you, that big ridge right there, that big spine, that's where we're going to be hiking. Kind of gives you an idea of the climbing that's involved, the steepness of it. Here, we're going to go by San Antonio Falls. Always nice to take a look there. And we're just going to keep on going up to the start of the Baldy Bowl Trail, which is uh, just a minute or two up the road right here. This is an easy one to miss too, but I'm guessing if you're doing Register Ridge, you've done this before, hopefully. We're going to go up the Baldy Bowl, the start of the Baldy Bowl Trail. You can see there's a sign there. That's always helpful. I'm going to do a little switch back, and I'll show you exactly where this turnoff is going to be. The turnoff is key for a Register Ridge. We're going to see it in a second. So once you go past the trail register, this is the old trail register here, it's going to be about 100, 120 feet past this. And it's the first bend where we come around up ahead. When you go around the bends, it's the first place where you can see uh, the Baldy Bowl up to the left there. I see up to the left, there's the Baldy Bowl. The first time you can see that, just look to the right here. And you can see the small trail heading up. And then this is Register Ridge. Now we're taking Register Ridge all the way up to the Devil's Backbone and Mount Harwood. So there's no side trails here. There's just the insane steepness. Now this is very typical. You can see these small zigzag, these very short switchbacks here. This is how most of the trail is. Uh, and you know, there's some of the, the camera lens effect here, but it really is the steep. This definitely gives you a good idea of what it looks like in person. Um, very steep and just expect to go much slower than you normally do. That's what I do when I come up here. But here you can see like this is this is how steep it is. It's also not a good one to go down. You can look back, there's nice views back down there, but it's pretty miserable to go down. Uh, you probably do a lot of butt sliding even with trekking poles. So I recommend going down on the other routes on uh, through the notch or the Baldy Bowl Trail just do this climb, this, this descent is no fun. Been there, done that, won't do it again. Now, as you go up, you're gonna be able to see the ski hut over there, off to the left. And this is nice because you kind of bop back and forth between both sides of the ridge that you're on here, the southeast ridge. And on the other side, you can start to see the buildings at Baldy Notch, the little ski buildings and the restaurant and all of that fun stuff. But otherwise, continue the steep suffer fest. It is gonna level out in a little bit. We do have, uh, I think, two breathers on this as we go up here. And there you can see the summit of Baldy coming into view. And once you can see the summit of Baldy, we're gonna get a little bit of a breather. And you can see it's not as steep here, but it still has these little switchbacks. But here's the first little breather. And when I say breather, it's not downhill, it's maybe kind of flat, but it's it's largely still uphill, but just not as um, insanely steep as those earlier slopes that we were on. 
In this section, after the breather gets kind of rocky, there's this black granite here. And I've heard some people say this is like a scramble. It's not really a scramble. You're gonna go through some of these rocks like this. There's no real intense edges as long as you're on the trail. And even though it's not an official trail, it's very well worn as you've seen so far in the video. And it's always easy to kind of spot where to go. And once you're through those boulders, guess what's next? Yep, a steep section. This is giving a good idea of kind of the steepness here as we climb up. And this is probably the narrowest section here. You can see down to the notch and then three T's, Cucamonga in the background. Nice views. I end up stopping a lot and uh, on this one because it's so tough, but it's always nice to turn around and look around down there. Now we're gonna continue up and this is our last little saddle here, our last little flat portion before we do the final uh, steeper part up to the Devil's Backbone intersection. So enjoy it while you're here. And now we start hiking uphill again and you can see how steep it is. It's really pretty intense. The nice thing is because there's all these boulders, there's always places to sit and rest as you go up. There's a lot of nice little sitting spots. Now, when you come to this uh, big boulder in the middle, we're gonna go off to the left and go around it. I've, I read some trail reports where people said they thought they had to climb up and over it. You definitely don't, and that sounds kind of dangerous, but just go over to the left-hand side, and you can see the trail continues here around to the left. And from here on out, we're actually gonna be going up the left side of the ridge, uh, AKA the west side of the ridge, till we get to the Devil's Backbone, which we're gonna hit shortly. Once we're past that, there's Baldy in the distance there. The high trees kind of thin out, and we're gonna go through this Manzanita. And then we come up to the Devil's Backbone Trail. This is the end of Register Ridge. You can see it's blocked off there so that unsuspecting hikers coming down Devil's Backbone don't go down there. Um, we're just going to do this little dog leg here. We're going to hop on Devil's Backbone, make the right, and then the quick left, and hike up to Mount Harwood. Now, after doing Register Ridge, this uphill will feel like a cake. There's Harwood up there. And again, this is uphill, but it's nothing like what you just did. A lot of little use trails here. We're going to keep going uphill. No downhill yet until you get to the summit. Uh, but there you can see the summit in the distance. And I love this sort of barren moonscape that's up here. It's really a beautiful and unique summit with some great views down towards the desert here as we get up to the ridge. It's amazing how quiet it can be. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anyone here. I've been here a couple dozen times probably, but you know, obviously most people are down on the devil's backbone. And once you get up to this big uh, pile of rocks here, this is the summit of Mount Harwood, named after the first female president of the Sierra Club. And you can enjoy this a little bit. Our next stop will be Mount Baldy, which is directly ahead of us, but you can enjoy the views, maybe have a little picnic break here. And you don't have to go to Baldy, really from this point on, you can kind of do whatever you want. If you just want to skip Baldy and go back down, you can, but I always figure you come this far, you might as well, might as well go get Baldy as well. We're just going to continue uh, towards Baldy along the ridge here, and you can see the trail is pretty well defined. In a second, we're going to go past some, uh, I think this is weather, a weather station. I know there's a mountain forecast weather station for Mount Harwood, so I'm guessing this is that. We're going to go past that, and around here, there's probably like three or four trails that all bifurcate and come back together. So you can kind of do whatever, as long as you're sort of towards the middle of this ridge, walking towards Mount Baldy, you'll be okay. Just keep going straight here through the section, and eventually the trail becomes well-defined again. When I say well-defined, I mean, this is it. You can see it right in front of us. It's not the Devil's Backbone, which I'll show you in a second, but it's easy enough to follow. Here's that lower trail that we split off from earlier when we first started climbing Mount Harwood. We're gonna continue on towards Baldy, and then shortly after that, we're gonna to come to the intersection of the Devil's Backbone Trail. And you can see this looks like a highway compared to what we've been on so far. But we're gonna go uh, to the right and then head up for the last section to Baldy. Now, hopefully you've done this hike to Baldy before, you know what to expect here. It's the same thing, choose your own adventure. The trail splits apart in multiple places, comes back together. It's basically a series of crisscrossing switchbacks. You can kind of take whichever way you want to go uh, and hike up towards the summit of Baldy, which is easy enough to see when it's clear out. 
here we're going up and you can see it's easy to spot there's a pole up there maybe not in the video but as you get closer there's a little or a big pole in the ground that makes uh, getting to the summit easier sort of aiming which switchback or switchback uh, series you're going to take up here but we're going to continue on up till we get to that pole and then we're just going to go past the pole right here and at this point we're at the summit you'll notice it doesn't say register ridge on there because it's not an official trail it's really more of an advanced experience and here we are at the summit of mount baldy and everything's the same this is a rare occasion that no one else was up here it was a heat wave and there were tropical storms coming um, and it's uh it ended up being a beautiful day you can see some of the clouds here and there was also a forest fire and it rained on it while i was up here so that was cool too but from here you can just go back down any way you want you can take the ski hut trail or you can take the notch um, but i wouldn't take register ridge it's kind of steep but either way that's the hike and i'll show you what this looks like on a map now so here's the hike. Um, I only have the one way hike up here because I'm guessing you're probably not gonna go back down this way, but you could if you wanted to, like I said, it's pretty steep and not so much fun. But if you do come back from Baldy Summit, if you take the Ski Hut Trail, it goes down here, cross Baldy Bowl, and then back down out here, back down out here. And if you go down uh, Devil's Backbone, you're basically gonna go down along here, Devil's Backbone, down the ski slopes to the notch, and then down the road from the notch back here so you can do baldy bull or the notch when you come back down but this is the way we're going to go up we're going to start at manker flat right here go up the way that we do for these other hikes past san antonio falls and then this is the tough part which i'll go in deeper to show you here this is the turn off for the baldy bull trail we do that little turn the trail register is right here and then when you pass the trail register you do this turn and at this turn this is where you'll be able to see the baldy um, bowl up on this side that i showed you but this is where the turn off for register ridges and then the ski hut trail goes straight here so if you've gone like five minutes past the trail register you've gone too far you can come back and look for this um, and then once we're here we're on register ridge and this is the ridge that i mentioned earlier splits these other two canyons uh, in half. Once we're here, let me just show you. I mentioned there's like these tight zigzags as we go up. This is what most of the trail is. These really tight zigzag climbs, pretty steep. It's, it's pretty much the equivalent to going straight up, but you can really see how steep it is. And if I go over here and let's angle this up, you can see, there we go. We're basically doing a very, very steep climb instead of doing more of a meandering one with some switchbacks and the steep parts on these. We're just going straight up the southeast spine here. Now, there's not much to say about this aside from we're going straight up. You can see some of the sections are a little bit narrower than others, but eventually we will come up and you, there you can really see kind of how steep this is. Look at that. It's steep. When you come back along here and you look down, it's not obvious that there's a ridge there, but there, there you go. Look at this. And there you can really see the steepness of this climb. Anyway, once we get up here, we get to the Devil's Backbone Trail. We're going to go through it and we're going to do this climb up to Mount Harwood right here. Here we are at Harwood. And once we're at Harwood, we have the little downhill we're going to go straight through back down to the saddle. We're gonna rejoin the Devil's Backbone, which is right here, and then climb up to Baldy, which, um, which should be familiar to you if you're looking at this hike at that point. And yeah, that's the hike. Again, I strongly advise taking the notch or the ski hut trail back down, uh, but you know, you can do whatever you want. And I'll, uh, I'll see you guys out there. Thank you.